throwing hand grenades and other war like stores. This area close to the line of control is along Nala called Asanga Nala, which is a wide nala which has got large number of boulders and dense foliage on either sides. It's also the winter, so very low temperatures and dense fog which comes in around midnight and closer to the full moon, this area remains engulfed by dense fog. We have local population living right up to the line of control. The Atlanga village has about 50 odd houses and the closest house from the point of recovery which is on the line of control is about 150 meters. The anti-infiltration optical system or the LC fence as it is called is close to a kilometer behind the line of control and hence all these houses are between the LC fence and the line of control. As a result, we encourage people to cultivate, to collect firewood or tend to the cattle right up to the line of control and hence very small parts of this particular area where the recovery is being made is mined. I have with me Sir Saeed Bhatt, the Senior Superintendent of Police of Baramunda District and to my left the Commanding Officer of the Battalion Rustam along with his company commander who had carried out the operation. I will now ask the Battalion Commander to cover certain salient aspects of the operation after which we will request the SSP to give his comments. Yeah. Uh, good morning Jain. I would be briefing you all about a joint search operation which was undertaken by Army and Jammu Kashmir Police on 24th of December 2022, which was part of multiple search operations being carried out by us since last two weeks. Based on multiple intelligence inputs which was provided to us from military intelligence and various central and state intelligence agencies about presence of terrorist groups in suspected launch pads who were planning to infiltrate and push warlike stores through the line of control towards hinterland before heavy snowfall. Therefore, the already, already robust anti-infiltration grid and surveillance grid was further strengthened by launching additional ambushes and area domination patrols led by dynamic young officers and junior leaders. The entire area of responsibility of my battalion was adequately covered both during day and night by various means. The terrain as obtained in the area of operation is mountainous with huge boulders, thick undergrowth and steep cuttings towards own side of line of control along the Nala bed which happens to be the line of control. The area towards own side of line of, line of control has lesser pre-cover and vegetation. However, towards the Pakistan occupied Jammu Kashmir, it's full of forest cover and dense jungles. Therefore, any movement from their side towards line of control is difficult to pick. However, our movement can be pushed through narcotics, arms, ammunition, and uh, perhaps for the first time we are seeing, in, at least in the valley side, these balloons which are commonly more frequent in, in the Jammu side. And uh, this kind of push perhaps points to a kind of um, uh, attempt to again instigate uh, certain propaganda based uh, street violence and other such incidents. Uh, there have been, have been a, uh, a very good amount of recovery uh, when it leads to the uh, we eventually NATO terror related uh, recovery that we've had this year and uh, running into multiple doors uh, just on the narcotic side. Uh, we have had uh, certain attempts by the army remote earlier, uh, successful operations on the LC also, and the joint efforts and synergy that we have with the forces is actually at all time high. Uh, so far, no major uh, infiltration that we have seen this year have happened in the sector, and which is a result of a keen eye that can be seen on the LC and the general area behind it. Uh, in the hinterland, we are looking at uh, places where uh, the support for the terrorists is. Uh, coming up or has been a rather limited problem and uh, that will be that is uh, the problem. Thank you. Thank you. Over the years, at this time of the year with the snow, heavy snow yet to come in, there are repeated attempts not only for infiltration but also for smuggling of online stores and drugs. And 
there are some areas like this area where Atlanta, where we have houses ahead of the LC fence, closer to the line of control, and because of the movement of the people right in the line of control and the kind of terrain that is obtaining, such attempts are reported from time to time. The first input had come in about two weeks back from multiple agencies, whether it is the central or the state intelligence agencies or the military intelligence or our own local sources. And hence the battalion had put in that grid which was there for about a week. Some suspected movements which were picked up on the surveillance grid were followed up with detailed searches about a week back. However, that did not result in any action. How last night's input prior to the search, the movement which was seen close to the launch pad was then followed up with a detailed search in the morning leading to the recovery which is displayed in front of you. While uh, there is great synergy in the intelligence agencies in terms of giving us the inputs which are then corroborated by our own sources on ground and the cooperation of the local people but in the deployment, integration with the border security force and in operations in, with Jammu and Kashmir police, I think the results are there for you all to see. Thank you. Jai Hind. And has also been brought out by the SSP, the situation is near normal in Kashmir Valley. Hence the number of terrorists, the availability of warlike stores is at an all time low. So there is acute desperation from the other side to either infiltrate terrorists <coughs> or smuggle warlike stores. And we keep getting these reports on a regular basis. So whether it was an attempt by the terrorists or smugglers to get in warlike stores, uh, where we are still following up the leads and certain details cannot be shared. But as covered by the commanding officer, the movement close to the launch pads was picked up and ambushes were readjusted. Only when the search was carried out in the morning, we realized that probably in their attempt to infiltrate at the line of control when the ambushes were moving in, they panicked, left the stores behind and maybe withdrew that side, leading to the recovery that is in front of you. So in 2022, how many times the arms and ammunition were recovered near the line of control plus how many times the drugs were recovered in the entire North Korea? Oh, well, uh, I will speak to you, uh, speak to you, I'll tell you about this sector that in this year we have had a total of uh, 14 uh, AK rifles, 20 pistols, 1 M16 rifle, 76 hand grenades, about uh, 1226 rounds of AK, 484 rounds of uh, 9mm, 15 kgs of drugs and 10 more packets of suspicious narcos recovered from either the LC or close to the LC in about 6 to 8 operations which have been conducted during the year of 2022. Thank you. Uh, sir, so one is in the area of the the ये जाहिर करता है कि जब-जब इस तरह की कोशिश की जाती है, तब-तब चाहे वो इंटेलिजेंस नेटवर्क हो या फिर जॉइंट ऑपरेशंस हो, आर्मी के, पुलिस और बीएसएफ के साथ, ये कोई भी प्रयास किया जाता है, कोशिश की जाती है, वो नाकामयाब होती है और ये पकड़े गए हैं वहाँ पर। तो इसमें जो है सारी एजेंसीज इंटेलिजेंस शेयरिंग से लेकर जॉइंट ऑपरेशन की कार्रवाई और उसमें लोकल पॉपुलेशन को भी साथ में मिलाया जाता है ये कार्रवाई की जा रही है और ये जो रिकवरी हो रही है ये उस चीज का सबूत है ये ये कार्रवाई काफी हद तक इफेक्टिव है